Hello. Welcome to Unit 2. My name is Chloe and I'm a teacher in Glasgow, Scotland. This unit is all about work and family life. I'm a teacher. I'm married and I have a daughter, Grace. She's two years old. What do you do? Do you have a big family? I am a pharmacist in Japan. I have two brothers and three sisters. One of the brothers is a dentist. I'm a lawyer. I don't have any brothers or sisters. In this unit, you will learn how to talk about people's jobs and families using the present simple. My husband, Luca, comes from Belgium. He works as a lawyer at a big company in Glasgow. He loves his job. In reading and speaking, there's an interesting text about different ways of living and working. You'll find out how the Amazonian Indians and the Amish live their everyday lives and raise their children. Watch an interesting video about a day in the life of a bike messenger. Find out what he does at work and in his free time. What time is it? Oh, it's nearly three o'clock. In everyday English, you will learn and practice different ways of telling the time in English. Do you need more skills practice? Go online to improve your reading, listening, speaking or writing. Are you ready? Let's get started. Two point one James Stewart, Fireman. James, twenty six, is a fireman. He comes from Scotland, but now he lives in Sussex, England. He works at a small fire station near Brighton. James drives the fire engines. He works ten days a month. He's at work for twenty four hours and then he has forty eight hours off. It's a difficult job, but he likes it. He's married with two children, and on his free days, he takes Lara, six, to school and enjoys playing with Max, four. He also goes to the gym and he plays snooker. Maggie Hull, zoologist. Maggie, 45, is a zoologist. She studies wolves and she's the director of the Wolf Conservation Center in New York State. She lives in Connecticut and works with her husband, Spencer. Maggie also visits schools and teaches children about wolves. She works five days a week, but she goes to the Wolf Center on Sundays, too, because she likes it there. In her free time, she reads a lot and watches TV with her daughter, Eleanor. She also plays tennis and walks their dog, Drew. Two point two pronunciation S likes works visits walks z comes lives goes plays is teaches watches Two point three James and Maggie one James is a fireman. Maggie is a zoologist. 
Two. She comes from the U.S. He comes from Scotland. Three. James lives in England. Maggie lives in Connecticut. Four. She works at the Wolf Center. He works at a fire station. Five. He drives fire engines. She visits schools and teaches children about wolves. Six. Maggie likes her job, and James likes his job too. Seven. He goes to the gym in his free time. She walks her dog. Eight. She plays tennis. He plays snooker. Nine. Maggie is married. Her husband's name is Spencer. James is married too. Two point four, questions and negatives. One. What does James do? He's a fireman. Two. Where does he come from? He comes from Scotland. Three. Does he live in Scotland? No, he doesn't. Four. Does he live in England? Yes, he does. Five. Does he play tennis? No, he doesn't play tennis. He plays snooker. Two point five, grammar and pronunciation. Does he play football? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Two point six, questions and answers about James. One. Where does James work? At a fire station. Two. Does he drive the fire engines? Yes, he does. Three. How many days a month does he work? Ten. Four. What does he do in his free time? He goes to the gym, and he plays snooker. Five. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. Six. Does he have a dog? No, he doesn't. Two point seven, Natalie Portman and Gareth Bale. One. Natalie lives in England. Two. She comes from France. Three. She speaks German. Four. She goes to the gym in her free time. Five. Gareth comes from Scotland. Six. He works in Barcelona. Seven. He speaks Italian. Eight. He plays football in his free time. Two point eight. Stress and intonation. One. Natalie lives in England. No, she doesn't. She lives in the U.S. Two. She comes from France. No, she doesn't. She comes from Israel. Three. She speaks German. No, she doesn't. She speaks English, Hebrew, and French. Four. She goes to the gym in her free time. No, she doesn't. She reads. Dances and goes ice skating. Five. Gareth comes from Scotland.
No, he doesn't. He comes from Wales. Six. He works in Barcelona. No, he doesn't. He works in Madrid. Seven. He speaks Italian. No, he doesn't. He speaks English and Spanish. Eight. He plays football in his free time. No, he doesn't. He plays golf in his free time. It's half past seven in the morning in Brooklyn, New York. It's the start of another busy day for Alex. He gets up and makes some toast for breakfast. He eats his breakfast and checks his email. This is Alex's video diary. My name's Alex. I'm 35. I'm from Chicago, but now I live in Brooklyn. I'm a bike messenger in New York City, and my days are very busy. It's 8 o'clock. Time to go. He doesn't wear a uniform to work. He wears his own clothes. Alex fills his water bottle, and he's ready to leave home. He always carries a large bag and his cell phone. He lives in an apartment on the sixth floor. Luckily, there's an elevator. Alex's bike is outside his apartment. Before he starts work, Alex goes to a coffee shop. There are a lot of coffee shops in New York, but this is my favorite. The coffee is great and it's cheap too. Alex drinks his coffee and reads the newspaper. He starts work at half past eight. As a bike messenger, Alex collects and delivers small packages all over the city. Alex's day is very busy. There are a lot of packages to collect and deliver. There's a lot of traffic, but Alex doesn't stop. He is very fast. He knows all the streets of the city. Alex 
Alex likes working outside when the weather is good. Today's a beautiful day in New York. At just after one o'clock, Alex has lunch. He sometimes buys pizza at a small takeaway restaurant. He eats his lunch in the park. I like eating outdoors when the weather is good. The park is beautiful. Time to go again. Alex works hard and he travels all over the city. He works for about 10 hours. At the end of the day, he delivers his last package and cycles home to Brooklyn. Alex arrives home at about seven o'clock. I love my job, but at the end of the day, I'm always tired. In the evenings, I don't do much at all. When he arrives home, Alex has a shower. Then, he cooks his dinner. Tonight, it's pasta and salad. Alex isn't married. His girlfriend lives in Chicago. He uses the internet to talk to her every evening. In his free time, Alex plays the guitar. He enjoys writing songs. Because he is tired, he goes to bed at about 11 o'clock, ready for another busy day tomorrow. Two point nine talking about family and friends. One. My husband comes from Peru. Where exactly in Peru? From the capital, Lima. Two. My grandmother lives very near us. Does she visit you often? Yes, she does. Every weekend. Three. My mother loves reading. What does she read? She likes detective stories. Four. My father travels a lot in his job. Where does he go? He goes to Germany a lot. He's in Berlin this week. Five. My sister speaks Spanish very well. She wants to learn Italian too. Does she want to be an interpreter? No, she doesn't. She wants to be a teacher. Six. 
My brother plays video games all the time. What does he like playing? He plays the FIFA football game a lot. 7. My friend Jim writes an internet blog. What does he write about? It's all about films and film stars. 2.10. Five conversations. 1. Does Richard like his new job? No, he doesn't. He works 10 hours a day and it's very difficult. 2. Your friend Marta speaks English very well. Yes, she does. She goes to England every year. She speaks French too. 3. Is your sister a student? Yes. She goes to Bristol University. She studies medicine and she wants to be a doctor. 4. What does your grandfather do all the time? Well, he watches TV a lot, but he plays golf with friends and he likes dancing too. 5. Does your son drive? Yes, he loves driving his old Mini to school every day. He drives my BMW at the weekend too. 2.11 What do you hear? 1. He likes his job. 2. She loves working. 3. Does he like English? 4. Does she have three children? 5. Where does he go in his free time? 2.12. Jobs. 1. She's a hairdresser. She cuts hair. 2. He's a pilot. He flies from Heathrow. 3. She's a receptionist. She works in a hotel. 4. She's an architect. She designs buildings. 5. He's a lawyer. He works for a top law firm. 6. He's a taxi driver. He drives all day. 7. They're journalists. They write news stories. 8. She's a dentist. She looks after people's teeth. 9. She's a nurse. She works in the city hospital. 10. He's an accountant. He likes working with money. 2.13. What do they do? 1. What does Michael do? He's a journalist. He writes for the Times newspaper. Oh, that's interesting. 2. What does your father do? He's an architect. He designs houses and apartment buildings. And your mother? What does she do? She's a teacher. She teaches French and Spanish. 3. Does your sister work in the town centre? Yes. She's a receptionist. She works in the Ritz Hotel. 4. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. I'm a nurse. Oh, but I want to see a doctor. 5. My brother's a pilot with British Airways. He travels all around the world. My brother travels a lot too, in London. He's a taxi driver. 
2.14. What time is it? A. It's five o'clock. B. It's eight o'clock. C. It's half past five. D. It's half past eleven. E. It's quarter past five. F. It's quarter past two. G. It's quarter to six. H. It's quarter to nine. I. It's five past five. J. It's ten past five. K. It's twenty past five. L. It's twenty-five past seven. M. It's twenty-five to six. N. It's twenty past three. O. It's ten to six. P. It's five to ten. Two point fifteen. C. It's five thirty. E. It's five fifteen. G. It's five forty five. I. It's five o five. Two point sixteen. Just after four. One. It's just after four o'clock. It's two minutes past four. Two. It's nearly three o'clock. It's two minutes to three. Three. I think it's about half past two. Two point seventeen. A. It's twenty to twelve. B. It's eight fifteen. C. It's ten past three. D. It's nearly two o'clock. Two point eighteen. What's the time? One. Excuse me. Can you tell me the time, please? Yes, of course. It's just after eight o'clock. Thank you very much. Two. What's the time in Sydney right now? It's nearly eleven o'clock at night. Oh, that's why you want more coffee. Three. What time does your watch say? Ah,、uh, it says it's eight fifty-seven. Ah,、uh, I think my watch is wrong. It says eight fifty-two. Four. Excuse me. What time does the gym close? At ten o'clock. And what time is it now? It's twenty-five two. You're okay. No need to hurry. Thank you. Two point nineteen, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman is American and Israeli. Portman is her grandmother's name. Natalie's real name is Hirschlag. Her father is a doctor, and her mother is an artist. She lives in Los Angeles now. She likes it because everyone smiles there. Natalie works all over the world. Paris and Berlin 
are two of her favourite cities, and she loves to visit them. Natalie is married to the French dancer Benjamin Milpier. They have two children. Their names are Aleph and Amalia. She dances and ice skates in her free time and loves cooking. She's a vegetarian. She says she doesn't want to eat animals because she loves them so much. Natalie has an IQ of 140. She's very interested in psychology and has a degree in it from Harvard University. She is only 5 foot 3, 160 centimetres, but she's an actress with a very big name.